Hi, everybody. It's Alphalyn Spiritual. Another reading. Oh, man. Here we go. Don't do this. Don't do this. We're family. No, this is this is crazy. So that's it, baby. That's it. We got rid of the chariot. And now we're about to choose. We have a coffee cup reading, but we're about to choose the new matchbox. So what is it going to be? Let's see. I'm, I'm going to close. I'm not going to look. What is it going to be? Hmm. Strength and the high priestess here. Okay. So hold on. Let's see. I'm, I'm not going to look. I don't know. Strength. Here we go. So there's something where you're going to see, because the high priestess wanted to come out, right? So there's something you're not seeing, but you will. And you've been holding out and being very strong about this. And now you will have all the strength you need to move forward. Leo, Leo season. Um, there's just, you have the empress here. You're, you're being divinely guided. You're being supported by God by your angels, by your spirit guides here. You're getting that nurturing love, that divine feminine love. You're facing your fears. You're, you're able to control your feelings and your emotions. You know that you're not all over the place. You feel in control of your life. And you have so much love to give and receive. Like you're receiving now. You know what I mean? You're in the feminine energy. Wow. Wow very earthy grounded you have libra and um taurus here you know, I also have leo but it's like that just grounded like that nurturing love you know you have family here friends having fun with the fifth house and maybe this is something that has to do with your family like coming together maybe you're becoming a mother maybe you're becoming a father a parent in general maybe this has to do with your own mother Maybe you have mother wounds and you're healing those things. Maybe you were dealing with something that was toxic with the masculine and, and now you're able to, to, to let go of those things. You know, let go of those fears. Maybe there isn't a power struggle between you and somebody else. But whatever this is, you're in control now. You have the strength, the power. And it's something you manifested here. You're the magician here as well. Like you have everything you need. And you're being brought to fate now. Now everything that's happening with this time frame now, with this matchbox, it's all fated and destined now. Everything is all being aligned. And you're going to see it. You're going to know and you're going to see it. Wow, this is beyond here. So hi, everybody. I, I, uh, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for supporting me. And I hope all your wishes come true. Always. And never stop dreaming here. You know, never stop dreaming. Never give up on your dreams. Do whatever you want to do that's going to make you happy. And that, you know, is going to make you live your best life. Because you only have one life and you're here right now. Don't wait to do anything and, you know, have regrets later. Do what you want to do. Don't let anyone stand in your way. As long as you're not hurting anybody or anything like that or hurting yourself. And you believe in yourself. And you're doing something that you really have that soul calling to do, do it. You know what I mean? Don't wait. Take action. Go. You know? And if you fail, that's it. You know what I mean? At least you tried. But if you don't try, you know, you're never gonna know if you if you're if you're good at this thing or that you're or this person's the one or whatever. Like just just go. Take action. Do it. Don't have any fears. You you have the strength now to do it. Like spirits with you, the empress is with you. God's with you. So let's see what's going on for everybody here. I'm hearing it's a very emotional month. The emotions and feelings are real here. Okay. There is an opportunity and a windfall here right away. Great. We have Chinese Year of the Rooster, Libra, six, six days from now, six weeks from now. Chinese Year of the Dog, Pisces, Scorpio. Libra and 
Gemini here. Chinese year of the snake. A lot of healing here. Family. There's someone that's like doing tricks on a skateboard, being very flexible. So there's something about being flexible, being um, agile here. There's something about fitness and being healthy, like you feel free. Because you know when you go on a skateboard, even if you never skateboard before, it's like freedom. You know, like you're you're literally your own <laughs> your own person. Like it's giving me that Aries, like independence, solo. Like you're free in the wind, you know what I mean? Like you're you're independent. You're nothing's holding you back. You have this big flower here and it's dancing and it's happy and it's connected to Chinese year of the dragon, Taurus. Like you're you're just there. You're you're living in the present moment and you're happy. Letter A. You have the moon here connected to mermaid, the mermaid moon here. Like something so beautiful. It's it's connected to cancer, like sexuality, divine feminine energy. Like you're in that sexual awareness now, like very sensual and seductive and and you're you're dealing with a lot of night stuff. Like at nighttime maybe you're more active now or doing things at night. Like it's very dreamy. It's it's very opaque, I'm hearing. Like you could be feeling very deep right now, like very deep feelings, emotions, like a lot of watery energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I'm seeing a lot of Cancer here. You have Leo here, L, nine days, 55, Chinese year of the monkey, uh, Scorpio, Virgo, and Capricorns here, letter T. There's something with like purging, purging out, uh, and there's a secret being revealed. There is a spirit here, but it's so small and it's light, you know what I mean? Um, and it's a spirit that watches you at night, but it's like a young spirit. It's not a, a scary spirit. It's not hurtful or anything. It's just very innocent and it follows you. And, it, and like, I'm getting like Casper vibes, you know what I mean? Like it's very young like very young and it and it maybe it feels connected to you somehow or it it feels uh, safe with you or um maybe it just wants you to be okay but for some reason I'm seeing it follow you like at night like when you get up to get a drink of water or go to the bathroom or whatever it's so young here wow that's and it's very like I feel like a little bit emotional um so all right, uh, Chinese year of the goat, Chinese year of the rooster. I mean, you can see it very clear here. Uh, Chinese year of the ox, Aquarius, Libra, and Leo here. There's a union here. 31, maybe in the 31st or 31 days, letter I. Yeah, you're hesitating. You're hesitating, and you have 32 here as well. You're hesitating here. You don't have all the details yet, but you will, okay? You will. The sun is rising here. You're going to feel revitalized. You're going to get your energy back. I'm hearing like joints, like your joint. You're not going to have joint pain anymore. Z, connected to love. And there's a hammock here. So you could be taking a vacation, either physically or mentally here. Taking a break, vacation, Something is becoming overwhelming. It's a burden. And there's someone, uh, wow. This is the four of wands. They're waving you in. Like, come on, let's go. We're, we're waiting for you. Chinese ear of the dog. Maybe this is like a new friend you're meeting or a friendship or this is someone you currently know. And now they're waving you in. Maybe this is a surprise. And I am hearing an epiphany, but it could be something where... My eye was itchy, by the way. So it's something you're going to be seeing. But maybe it's like scratchy. Letter E. Letter A and K together. So that could be someone's initials. that are. That's very important. Letter D. Chinese ear of the goat. You're getting the key here to move forward. Wow, you have a wish. A completion. Love, bro. Like. Love.
Don't do this. Yeah, it's so beautiful here. This I'm seeing a cylinder and it has a little door on it and you open it and there's things inside. It's like a cylinder. But it's kind of giving me one. You know how they used to, I don't know if this is like for real, but you know how they used to do those time capsules and whatever and then they put it and then like 20 years from now, like, oh, wow. Like I'm seeing that. Maybe you're opening up a time capsule or something. Or you're going to rediscover something that you had in your attic or whatever. Or something maybe you hid and like maybe you're digging it up. I don't know. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you have Libra here for some reason. Just Libra alone. M, 23. Letter J, letter Q, and letter R is here. Oh, okay. So we have Chinese Year of the Pig here. Sagittarius talking to Earth here. So this could be a friend or someone in love or something here. There's a conversation. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's not stating that. We have Scorpio here, of course. Shout out to Scorpio, baby. But yeah, we have Scorpio. We have Sagittarius. We also have Taurus here. So yeah, baby. All my beautiful zodiacs over here living their best life. Yeah, I feel like you're just chilling. Like this cup is like very chill. And there's like a spiral here, like a whirlpool in the water. So it's like something very fast, like rushing, but it's controlled. And it's a cycle. Watch everything happen all at once. And there is a union happening here. We have Chinese ear of the horse and Chinese ear of the pig here. A union of two souls. B. Goat, dragon, snake, and monkey here. FS. Mm. Yeah. I just heard it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. My nose is itchy, so you could be getting into a fight. Or maybe these are, these are signs that are going to be fighting for you in love maybe you're gonna have options yeah there's definitely a wish one wish two wishes here coming true you have the owl spirit here so something about nighttime wisdom being alone like a sacred place sacred knowledge is coming to you maybe in your dreams or at night maybe you're gonna have one night that you're gonna just really feel connected and you're gonna get some kind of spark you know what i mean like god spark and there's something with roman numerals here and like greek greece like athens and stuff like that letter g is here and seven so chinese here the horse and freedom maybe you're traveling there or maybe there's something there for you maybe your ancestors or something are leaving you something that you need to understand letter s yeah, and this is a journey traveled alone here. Hmm. A journey traveled alone. Let's get some of my homemade cards first, because that's what I'm feeling drawn to. So I have a homemade deck that I made in here and um, a couple of sacral cards that I didn't make. And... um spirit cards that I didn't make, but I mixed them into this deck. But anything, like the shiny part, that's the deck I made that I created. So let's see, what about this cup for everyone here? Ooh. Wow, love's flying in, because <laughs> this, this card just flew over there. Your heart chakra is going to be open to love and, and happiness here. Yeah, listen to your intuition. There's something that flipped out in here, but I'm not going to take it. Because I feel like I, I don't want to take it. Okay, so it could be hidden abundance coming to you, but I don't want to take it. Because it's not ready yet. You are a pillar of strength and capable of overcoming obstacles. You have to overcome some kind of obstacles, or you will very soon. And you need to listen to your intuition and your heart. So your head and your heart. We have Katana, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Masculine energy, cutting ties no longer resonates. Start a new path and it's part of your sole purpose here. Okay, so we have the frog. Innocent person slash heart. 
ending a karmatic cycle, new beginning here. You have that twice. A visitor from the past, needing to forgive yourself. Work with green stones and you have the heart chakra here. Initials could be F, R, O, G, J, and X. And number 11, 11 days from now, November, Chinese year of the dog. And we have green bracelet here. Blessings coming in. Being divinely guided, good fortune, green foods, plant-based lifestyle, change for the better. Okay, that's all we need here. So with these two cards, it's it's going with the frog spirit. We have never-ending story. Discovering new ways of doing things. The hanged man. So we have Pisces energy here. Like you've sacrificed enough. And that's why you're the pillar of strength and capable of overcoming obstacles. That's why you're the strength card. That's why all this is happening. New person or new job. Child for work or pleasure. Making plans for the future. Needing to listen more. You know, a patient person, timing now, the present. Okay? So here we go. We have hat and, oh my gosh, you have Thai prayer flowers. This is a soulmate involved here. This is a divine partner. A lot of you, this is love that's coming in. Renewing, soulmate involved, childhood memories, dealing with family, past life connection. You have a past life connection with this person. Healing a traumatic experience, you're letting go. And you have Thai prayer flowers, marriage and wholeness, divine partnership. This could be the one, 11, 11. Wow, and you have 11 here. Look, 11, 11, 11. And you could be seeing a lot of 11, 11. Four days from now or four weeks from now, some of you, it could be four months. The sun, Leo energy, again, look, Leo strength. Earth energy, earth sign or earth season. So this person could be an earth sign or you're meeting them in earth sign season. And if you're watching this in real time, you could be meeting them right now in Virgo season. Or they have Virgo placements, Taurus placements, or Capricorn placements. Or those seasons, you could be meeting this person. It's feminine energy here. Wow. You're ready here. Hat. And look at this shit. Can you believe this? Hat and hat. Literally, that's the name of this card. Hat. You will be playing a different role. Hmm. And I feel like a lot of you, this has to do with you not being single anymore. Like that's going to be your different role. Like maybe becoming a mother, a father. You're going to be playing a different role. Bird flying. News is on the way. Yeah, so listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart. Because news is on the way. Harp. And again, you have Leo energy here. Great happiness. Air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Dolphin, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Wow. Wow. This could be like an opportunity that's beyond here. Yeah, do not be tempted to lower your standards with the flag because news is on the way. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Hmm. Time to go out and have fun. Changes in your life, especially with the full moon that's coming and this new moon that just passed. Discord among, among friends and family. Yeah, whatever this opportunity is that you're getting, there's going to be people that are jealous of you. Maybe this is people that are your friends. You know what I mean? And your family that... You know, they pretend that they're happy for you, but they're not. And you're going to know who's true and who's not. I'm telling you. This is important. Chinese ear of the rat, Capricorn. So with this, you have time to get out of a situation and success here. And you will have success about getting out of a situation that left you feeling emotional or drained Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This one was left behind for some reason. Yeah, successful outcome to your problem here. So this younger man is bringing you great happiness. And this news that's coming, it's saying, don't be tempted to lower your standards. Why? With the flag. Why is that? With the flag here. Okay, hold on. Oh, a lot. It's connected to this dolphin and this roll. Hold on a second. And you know what? This card landed over here on top of this. So I'll see that in a second. So something connected to March, Pisces, and that eclipse that's coming up. If you're watching this in real time, 
that full moon is going to bring this. Okay? But if you're watching this in the future, there's something connected to March here. Pisces and Aries. A chain of events that will affect your life. Wow. April. March, April. Look at this. You can't make this up. There's something connected with that. A younger woman here. Okay, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. We have Cain, pay attention to your health. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. I'm even getting that like you're going to be so hyped up that it might give you anxiety and stuff. So like just relax. Yeah, again, I picked this up. It was already here, but successful outcome to your problem. So you're going to get success from a problem that you were having. You are highly thought of here. And with the hills, it says obstacles overcome. Why? Because you, oh, you need to forgive someone here. You're going to be hearing good news. It's a blessing. It's from God here. This is what this is. Look, it's the same bird. See the bird? So it says, news on the way. Do not be tempted to lower your standards because maybe this person knows either. This, this is what I'm getting here. It could be different for everybody, but... This maybe is someone that used to be your friend or that you felt loyal to or very connected to and you're going to feel empathy for them. And maybe this is an obstacle to overcome. Or this is somebody that looks to you as someone they can trust and they're going through obstacles that they're trying to overcome and they need your help. They need your forgiveness here. I just, is this something that is positive or negative here with this empathy? garden 20 he who stands close to this garden many good friends will make for him who's far away from it a dangerous turn friendship will take there's something with this person that Chinese ear of the pig sagittarius here pisces Chinese ear of the ox aquarius here something with the moon hmm hold on I feel like this person might pretend to be your friend or might pretend to say something that like, I feel like they're going to say something to you that is going to really pull at your heartstrings or something, but you know, this person is not good or something. Like, I feel like I'm getting like two different energies with this because it says, for him who is far away from it, a dangerous turn friendship will take. But this dog is close. Scorpio is here a lot. Let me get one more. The star. The star is always a good sign as long as it is shining bright. And as long as no clouds hide the blue sky from your sight. Yeah, you need, to, you need to see clearly here. This is what it's trying to say is that you need to see if this person is worth forgiving or helping or whatever, or being empathetic towards. You, you get what I'm saying? Because th this is going to be different for everybody, but you could be a very, you know, giving and loving person. And maybe this person knows that and they know how to use you type of shit. And maybe that's why, like, don't be tempted to lower your standards because maybe you have, um, like, I want to say an obstacle, but, like, barrier. What is that called? Like, why can I say the word here? Um, let me see. Boundaries. That's what I want to say. That's good. Good, good, good. Yeah, maybe you have boundaries or you're forgetting your boundaries with this person because... Um, because of what they're going to tell you. But that's what I'm saying. Spirit's saying use your intuition because if you feel like you're lowering yourself to um, be around this person or help this person or whatever, that's not good. But if this person is raising you or, the, or, they, or you feel close to this person, you feel like they're giving you a gift, then, you know, keep them close. You know what I mean? Like they're connected to a blessing here. You get what I'm saying? Like that, that's what they're trying to say. So with the fish, they could have Pisces placements, dolphins here. And, and look, you have the dolphin here. See the dolphins? 
So this person, maybe you don't trust them or you won't because you have a younger woman here as well. And a younger man. And they could be water energies too. But it's maybe something coming from the past, but it's an opportunity. It says, through the sign of the fish, good luck will be your lot, at least as long as this card lies in a favorable spot. Yeah, exactly. So that's all I have for you. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it brought you some clarity. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.